a number for Wednesday, kids. Join me as you learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jirel, and welcome to our class. In the construction of buildings and other infrastructure, architects and engineers consider different designs consisting of varied combinations of shapes. For today's session, we will talk about these shapes that are commonly known as polygons. Are you ready, kids? Come on and let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math. Just check the link in the description box to learn more. As we learn about polygons, we will answer these three questions. First, what is a polygon? Second, what is the difference between a regular polygon and an irregular polygon? And lastly, what are the properties of polygons? Come on, let's begin our discussion for today. We can see shapes being represented by the objects around us. These shapes are commonly known as polygons. Now, what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed figure joined by line segments. The name of a polygon depends on the number of its sides. Polygon comes from the Greek word poly, which means many, and gonia, which means angle. Did you know that polygons are classified as regular and irregular? A polygon is called regular if the plane figures have congruent sides and angles. And it is an irregular polygon if it has sides of any length and angles of any measure. Now, let's identify if the following polygons are regular or irregular. Is this polygon regular or irregular? Awesome! This is an irregular polygon. How about this? Correct! This is a regular polygon. Look at this polygon. Is it regular or irregular? Very good! This is an irregular polygon. How about this? Correct! This is an irregular polygon. How about this shape? Splendid! This is a regular polygon. That was great, kids! But wait, there's more! Polygons are named according to the number of their sides. Take a look at this. By looking at this table, we can identify the number of angles, triangles formed, and the total angle measurement of each polygon. Now, can you identify the following polygons according to the number of their sides? Come on, let's go! What is the name of this polygon? Fantastic! This is a hexagon because it has six sides. The number of triangles formed in a hexagon is 4 and its total angle measurement is 720 degrees. Can you name this polygon? Awesome! This is a heptagon because it has 7 sides. The number of triangles formed in a heptagon is 5 and its total angle measurement is 900 degrees. How about this polygon? Correct! This is a nonagon because it has 9 sides. The number of triangles formed in a nonagon is 7 and its total angle measurement is 1260 degrees. What is the name of this polygon? Good job! This is an endecagon because it has 11 sides. The number of triangles formed in an endecagon is 9 
and its total angle measurement is 1620 degrees. Lastly, this polygon is a splendid. This is a dodecagon because it has 12 sides. The number of triangles formed in a dodecagon is 10 and its total angle measurement is 1,800 degrees. You did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our three questions earlier. A polygon is a closed figure joined by line segments. The name of a polygon depends on the number of its sides. Polygon comes from the Greek word poly, which means many, and gonia, which means angle. A polygon is called regular if the plane figures have congruent sides and angles. And it is an irregular polygon if it has sides of any length and angles of any measure. Polygons are named according to the number of their sides. And through this, we can identify the number of angles, triangles formed, and the total angle measurement of each polygon. You are fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about polygons today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience magical learning at home, check out Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jill and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday.